My name is Ionut Stan. I'm uh, the president of Gypsy Association from Romania and I'm a Roma right defender. You have to know from the beginning I'm coming from a Roma family. We were five boys in this family. My mother and my father had the chance to go to school, but they didn't have so good job. And actually we were living in the city, in this um, neighborhood where we were the only two families in the neighborhood which were Roma. But from my grandparents, we came from a Roma community. The idea is that since I was like uh, 14 years old, I was ashamed to be Roma. And when I went to school, I learned that Roma to be Roma, it's a bad thing because Roma are uh, guilty of everything. Roma are, uh, are uh, how you say, dirty and so on. But then I tried to find myself and to say, OK, I have an advantage. I was so good in school, have good results. So everybody know me because I was good in school, but I was a Roma, which was an exception for for the school in that moment. So that's why I tried to think about myself that I have a mission to show people that Roma does not mean uh, only, um, only bad things, that we can be Roma, we can be students, we can be uh, right, uh, human rights defenders, and in the same time, uh, having a, a normal life. I don't have a number exactly, but what I know, in uh, of officially, there are 600,000 Roma in Romania. Unofficially, the organization said that we are like 2 million, or even a little bit more. The idea is that Roma is a very young community. Uh, the, there are a lot of uh, young and child uh, Roma. And we. Uh, the problem is that when we do the recensement, the chances, not all, every Roma say they are Roma. And I think this is a problem because it's we speak about self-esteem. And because, of course, if Roma means to be dirty and to be a bad guy, I'm not Roma. Uh, the discrimination in Romania or in France or in other countries today it's lower than it was before. I can say that in Romania they did nice things like giving to people, uh, uh, giving to people the chance to go to school, having uh, uh, like um, special places for Roma in high school, in uh, university. Was they try to do good things, but the problem still exists at a local level, at a low level. And even the authorities, when you go to somebody and they figure out that you are Roma because you are dark skin or because you you come from um, your the way of speaking Romanian is a little bit uh, dif different or your accent, they will have um, a different way of seeing things. We also can see the discrimination in schools because since five years ago in Romania, you still had segregated schools where only Roma children and when the Roma children went to uh, to the school in the city, the Romanian tried to take out their children to other school where they were not Roma. We as GPCI, we try to make a lot of um, encounters with Romanian, with youngsters, and to say that by living together, by meeting together, by having a common project, we can find uh, this discrimination. For people to have Roma friends, for Roma to have Romanian friends, it's very important. And I think this will help us to go beyond this prejudice, beyond this discrimination. For the first time, the Romanian government made a strategy of improving Roma life, like, uh, let's say, 15 years ago. And when they made this strategy, they didn't have the budget for it. So even that we had the laws, we didn't have the measure and the protection to do it. Today, there is a lot of things changing. I think that the Romanian government tries to improve uh, Roma life. They open and open it. Um, Several, uh, with the of course, with the help of European Commission, they opened several grants for the association and for the for the local uh, government. But still, I don't think there is a free and clear and easy accessible for everybody in order to to improve the Roma life. I think that people like Roma they need more education and more uh, training and uh, and they need jobs like everybody else.
and this is where the Romania has uh, Romanian government does not succeed to make things better because a lot of Roma they they don't find jobs and it's difficult for them to achieve. Still, there is. I mean, you want to work with the government, they will say, okay, we are open, we want to work. But I think that if tomorrow the financial for the, the, the grants from the uh, European Commission stops, the government will not do so many. I really have this feeling that they are doing things because they are pressed by, uh, by Brussels. The problem is not like a Roma problem, it's more like an economical uh, problem of Romania. But in the same time, of course, if the patron is Romanian, he will favorize the Romanian part of the, of the, of the population and not the Roma, because it's, in Romania it still works like I, I will offer a job to somebody which I know and so, to somebody which I care. And in the same time, I must recognize that education and the competitive of Roma there is a little bit uh, difficult uh, because uh, for people who doesn't know to write or to read and if you and you know that now the jobs you have to have the skills so it's quite difficult for them to find to find modern jobs good paid jobs there are roma who became advocates doctors in romania but in order to arrive there, they have to say they are not Roma, because if they admitted their their, uh, their identity, they are afraid that they will lose their um, their clients, they, uh, they will lose their, their customers. So it's a really a quite uh, big problem for me, because uh, people, when they want to show bad things about Roma, they will show the rich Roma who made fortune war. There were these cases of trafficking and they will show these cases, which is not the, the majority of the, of the Roma. The majority of the Roma, unfortunately, in Romania, they live in bad conditions. The Romanian people, they have the power, and the Roma, they are divided in Pera. So every mayor in every city, I noticed that they are trying to split Roma, not to be a force, not to ask for places in the local municipality, in order to conduct them and to buy them cheaper when it's, we speak about election. I mean, um, if you do a promises to Roma, if for the Romanian, you have to tell them that you will do the asphalt, you will do electricity, for Roma, they say, okay, we'll give a beer and then we, they will vote for us, which is, is a bad thing. And I think that we have to train our people and we have to become a force more in order to respond to, to this, uh, this processes and this manner of making from the political um, leaders. I think like when uh, when a mayor hall decide to bring water or to bring electricity or to put uh, asphalt on the road, they should also go into the Roma neighborhoods to do this. Not only uh, in the other parts of the of the city of of the village. This is what I mean. Uh, I, okay, I will not mix people just because you know we have to mix and we have to have Roma neighbors or not, but. I think the living condition and the hygiene condition and decent condition should be uh, should be the same for everybody. We are integrated. We are. We don't need to be more integrated than this. All we need is to have the same equal opportunities, and we need to have the same uh, the same uh, living condition like everybody. Well, this is a question which is very difficult, and I don't really think that the government who can do much. But what I think is the mayor hall, mayor hall in the in the villages, in the city, they should know exactly the Roma situation. And what I think that Roma need today, they need water, they need condition in order to live, and in order to be trained and to find jobs and to live in their area, in their cities, in their houses where they they want to stay. And I think that what the government should do and what I will do is really to get these uh, human resources, Roma resources in the communities that could train people, that could lead them and then could become um, like, you know what we miss? We miss Roma teacher, we miss Roma doctors, people that, that can give and have an attachment to the community and then could lead the community.